I'm Doug Reeves with frequently asked questions from San Bernardino educators about effective grading practices. Today's question is about what's wrong with the average? Well, let me tell you what's wrong. Now, first of all, we teach fifth graders in this uh, district about mean, median, and mode because a fifth grader knows that if LeBron James moves into our city, the average income is going to go up, but that average would not exactly be an accurate description of what income is in our neighborhood or in our city. Similarly, the average distorts performance all the time when we use it for grading. You've probably had this experience of a breakthrough, you struggle in the early months of the, September, uh, of the semester and then you break through. You want to be evaluated at when you break through, not the average of that and your struggles. You want students to do the same thing. Moreover, you want students to be resilient when they run into disappointment and defeat and failure. They try again, they try again, they try again, and we reward that persistence by evaluating the latest and best evidence, not the average. I mean, think about it. Your musicians probably do great performances at the end of the year, and you clap for them. If you really believed in using the average, you wouldn't clap, because after all, you'd want to average in all their mistakes that they made early with that final performance. You know, in that context, it's silly, but that is exactly what happens when we average in failures early in the semester with final grades at the end of the semester. Finally, the reason to get rid of the average is that we want to avoid the end of semester syndrome in which at the end of every year, with weeks to go, some students simply give up hope because the average tells them that they've dug a hole so deep that even if they ace the final, even if they turn in every piece of homework, they're still going to fail because Three months ago, they made mistakes that have doomed their semester. If we really believe in hope, in work ethic, in persistence, in resilience, get rid of the average. Thanks for listening.